David, who gave you your county cap? Um, Peter May. Here. Oh. Long time ago. Long time ago. About 1962. What do you remember of the occasion? We were having lunch and um, suddenly Peter got, got up and said, well, I'm going to award certain caps to certain players and I with Arnold Long, and I forget the third or the fourth place, but we were, we were capped as a little group. Was it a surprise? Great surprise and a great thrill. It's the nicest thing that ever happened to me, really. Uh, and it was something partly you always aimed to get. You, you didn't get paid a lot of money, but it was a goal. And then after that would be a benefit, uh, providing you lasted the course. So was getting your cap a sort of career development from a financial point of view, or was it just the thrill of being told that you are now a first team cap no, player? No, I think we got an extra, extra cover, a couple of quid a week or something like that, and with, with, a, with a benefit. And it means you're established in the side in, 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 in respect. And, and you expected a cap player would always play in front of a non-cap player. And that was sort of part of the, the, the way of playing county cricket. And you would have moved dressing rooms? No, we were, oh yes, yeah, that's absolutely right. We were in the kids at the bottom with the sawdust and the, the muck and the dim lighting and the one shower and the one bath and then you go upstairs and the, the oil polloi there, the, the cat players. And, and you, you, we, I started off in a very corner of the, of the dressing room and then worked my way up, up, up the stairs and up into the, with the, with the cat players. So, you, you, so at that lunch then, when they gave you your cap, yeah. Was the first thing you did go down to the uh, downstairs dressing room, pick up well, your kit, and take it upstairs? Yeah, be very careful. I didn't put it in somebody else's locker. But yes, that's absolutely true. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, it was a privilege really of, of being a cat player. And how aware were you of the heritage, if you like, of the club as you were given uh, given that cap? Well, I've always, at the age of four, I've always wanted to be a cricketer. And on top of that, I always wanted to be a Surrey cricketer, so me joining this uh, organisation on four quid a week <laughs> wasn't a lot of money, but um, it was my life's ambition, really. And then to be fortunate enough to play county cricket uh, for a number of years was, well, it was like walking on, walking on air. And I always felt that when I went down the steps and, and hit my feet hit the, the green grass, I thought, God, I'm here. And you, you want to get the ball in your hand and you want to get a few people out. And, a great, great part of my life. Brilliant. Thanks for talking to us.